with another Warhammer Quest Battle Report. Now today I'm going to be back um, doing a quest, but with a brand new Warband and my buddy Christian. We're moving into phase two here in Ontario um, of reopening businesses and so I can have some guests back in. You've all seen Chris before. He's been on the podcast and we played lots of um, old hammery style games. And he's brought in uh, Ziggy Stardust, his war dancer, and the young Prince Lorand, his um, elf ranger, to throw down with my new heroes. Um, I've got my, uh, my new dwarf troll slayer as well as uh, Esteban Galante, the Imperial Noble, who'll be thrown down. So we haven't had any new monsters yet because we're all battle level one, which means that we'll be using the base monster from the core game and um, and throwing down like a new sort of like starting adventure. I do have all the current adventures in the wings and we'll, we'll bring them back in as we kind of like move up in battle levels, but we wanted to feature new, um, new sort of like protagonists as we do this series and as guests come in, I want them to be able to use their models and stuff too. So we'll share the current Warband. I'll run you through the sort of ins and outs, the, the characters I'm using are pretty simple. The elf war dancer is pretty simple too, but the elf ranger is a bit complicated. He's the big, he's like, if you're looking at the character that's probably the most controversial in Warhammer Quest, the ranger is it. Cause he's not just the best fighter, he can be the best mage too. Um, and he's pretty, he's pretty good all around her. So anyway, we'll show you through the warband. We'll get this mission sort of generated and get this underway. All right, so here are our sweet, sweet warband members. We've got Bory Goldfisk, Eggy's brother, who's brought grave dishonor to the family. Um, and who is uh, going to be fighting his way, I guess, into dungeons until he meets his ultimate doom. Classic Gary Morley model, got giant hair, giant or axe, um, and that's really all he starts with is an axe and troll, or some stone bread. Now, his special rules are, got a pretty good style, and he starts with a luck point and a skill, which is the troll slayer skill. If he rolls a six to hit, he gets strength seven for that hit, which is pretty sweet. He's moving four, weapons go four, both skills six plus, strength three, toughness four. Initiative two, so he's going last usually. One attack, and his pinning is six plus. He gets d6 plus uh, 10 wounds, so I rolled 14 wounds for him. Um, and he turns his rune axe, which is just plus one to all damage rolls. So he just he's straight up plus one to every damage roll as long as he's using his rune axe. And he can only use axes and hammers and stuff when he buys weapons. But his rune axe, he can get more runes on, and typically you just keep it and you level it up and make it better. Um, he has the troll slayer skill. Like I said, when he's strict to hit, he's strength seven. Um, and he has a thing called a gold limit where he tracks gold in two ways. He tracks his total gold for the adventure, including what he sells and treasure and stuff, for the purpose of buying training. But as soon as he gets to his gold limit, I rolled for it, I got 3,000 gold. His spending gold just gets lost otherwise. He's just not interested in worldly goods because he's trying to die. So um, I'll only ever be able to amass a maximum of 3,000 gold. The rest of it just gets lost on the way home or he's not interested in carrying it or whatever. But it doesn't affect his battle level because he can still spend the experience on getting um, better at fighting, just not on things. He never wear armor, because obviously he's a dwarf and he's a slayer. Uh, and then Esteban Galante, my Imperial Noble, another great Gary Morley miniature, he starts with his ancient heirloom, and you roll to see what it does. There's basically some evil race recognizes the heirloom and is afraid of it. So his heirloom really scares goblins and giant rats, because, or sorry, giant bats, for don't know reasons. The connection. We don't know the connection. Maybe the forest goblins don't like him. His family is known for fighting forest goblins. He has a dueling pistol he can shoot with, so it's just a regular dueling pistol. And his rapier is a very interesting weapon. It can't make death blow attacks and only ever does d6 plus one damage regardless of your strength. But he has the duelist skill when using it. And it means that as long as he hits with it, he can keep making damage rolls. So basically, you just don't ever stop attacking until you finally miss. These weapons go four. So he's pretty good. Got no luck and no skills apart from uh, his willpower of three. And he's moving four, weapons go four, both skill four plus with his pistol. Strength up is three. He can wear armor and stuff, same as Barbarian. Anything the Barbarian can use, he can use. Uh, he's initiative five and one attack and a pinning roll of five plus. He gets D6 plus seven wounds. I rolled a five, so I get 12 starting wounds, and that's my two adventurers. Then we have the young Prince Lorand. Yep. He's movement four, weapons go four. Plus skill five plus, strength three. We're going uh, uh, elf three, ranger four. mage with him. Oh, he's a ranger mage, sorry. So explain what that means. Uh, so he can be either a ranger mage or a ranger knight. Ranger knight gets a bow and shoots. Ranger Mage is just better in every way because he actually casts spells. Right, and, and three uh, spells. He has three he spells. spells. He doesn't, I don't really necessarily, he'll get more spells as he levels, but he comes with three spells. Those are fixed. They're not as powerful as the wizard spells. Right. But there's more of them and they're more reliable. He casts them in a totally different way. Yeah. So when you make the power roll, which you always do, even if there's no wizard, because if you're all one, you get an unexpected event. Um, his power that he rolls is how easily he casts the spells. So yeah. the higher the power is, the better his like casting roll is. So like if you roll five power, he casts on two plus. Yep, and he uh, he has three spells. Uh, yeah, so he has aura vitality where he just gives guys wounds back. Uh, he's got a shock wave which basically can affect monsters in a line. Does some does a d six 
On a 3 plus, it does d6 plus 1 damage, and it keeps going as long as he keeps rolling that 3 plus. Uh, and he's got a sort of anarian, which just does uh, d6 wounds to a monster. Sweet. With no deductions for toughness, so. Just straight up d6 wounds. Mm -hmm. And then we got Ziggy Stardust. He played a guitar, and he's a sure uh, he's a sweet, sweet word answer. Sorry, you rolled 13 wounds. You rolled the maximum wounds for Young Prince Lion. Yes, yeah, he's he's kidded. Um, and then you got your um, your sweet, sweet uh, yeah. And uh, I tried to paint his man. hair as bright as possible so that it would just <laughs> blind your camera. So you could be the Goblin King? <laughs> sweet. Um, he's moving forward. Weapons go five, which is sweet. Or is that three? I can't tell you right now. That's a five. That's a five? He's that good? Oof. Let's go for the six plus. Strength up is three. Initiative six, who's pretty much always going first and one attack. He only rolled nine wounds, though. Um, but he has a pretty cool rule. He doesn't stop uh, using his movement when he's done moving. And he can move during his death blow. Yeah. So if he kills a guy and there's no one to death blow with, he can spend a remaining move he hasn't spent that turn to move adjacent to another model and continue the death blow. So you can basically just keep making attacks with his two swords as long as he's using the swords of Orion. If he changes weapons, he loses the ability to use the war dance. Um, and just walk around, continue to kill little guys. So like he's amazing, just like plowing into like a pile of snotlings, and just like killing and killing and killing and killing and killing and killing. And killing. Yeah. The belt of Ariel is his one piece of armor. He yeah. can't wear armor otherwise. I'm pretty sure, except for nope. that. And it's can't carry shields. Can't yeah. do anything. Basically. And it, it rolls a die. And what does the die do? Uh, so on a one, it has no effect. On a two to three, he's plus one toughness. On a four to five, he's plus two toughness. And on a six, uh, I pick one hit per turn, and he just absorb or one hit in that combat phase, yeah. and he just absorbs And it. he rolls every turn when he activates to yeah. see what he gets. Travel up our dungeon deck to get ready and have an adventure. Let's see what the top card is for our objective room. It's gonna be the idol chamber. Ooh, Whoa. like Billy Idol. Um, and then, the idol <laughs> the whip. And then we'll cut this, and you can deal me out six cards. And we'll shuffle the idol chamber with those six cards for our bottom of our dungeon deck. There's the objective room set done. Now you're gonna shuffle, out, shuffle that and do six more and then shovel them and put them on the top of the deck, and that's gonna be the initial entry point for the top card. What our initial room is, dungeon says, oh jeez, easy. Stairways, Stairways. perfect. Always. Going um, down. You almost always stumble and fall down a set of slimy stone steps that descend in the darkness. The stairway will always be empty, unless the adventure book says otherwise, or an unexpected event is rolled. Let's roll me a die and see what we're doing in the idol chamber. What's our quest now that we're here? Throw me the idol, Four. throw you the whip. Uh, it's gonna be... Demonic summoning! The, oh. middle, the middle mountains lie deep within the forest of the Empire and are wild and dangerous places. Although orcs, goblins, and other evil creatures that live in the mountain caves are a great hazard to travelers, in the past they have not been considered the numerous or organized enough to threaten the Empire. Now, however, a threat from one of their number has arisen and must be eradicated quickly. A Skaven warlord has discovered an ancient temple deep below the mountains and within the li a lifelike effigy of a mighty demon that could summon the beast itself. The Skaven Warlord and his minions are doing their utmost to summon the demon, believing that they can bind it to their will using braziers and burning warp stone. The Empire's battle wizards have scried something of this threat, and the warriors have been dispatched with great haste to prevent the demon from being summoned. So to prevent the Skaven's evil work, the wizard has been given a scroll of banishment by the head of wizards. We'll say we're giving that to the ranger. Um, this is ancient part can be heard well. The chamber is guarded by 12 Skaven. All but one of the Skaven is placed according to the normal rules. The final one is placed in the plinth next to the brazier. The Skaven will stay in this spot unless attacked by a warrior. Uh, as he is to act as the channel for the demon's soul, it must be given uh, near the idol to complete the summoning. Warriors have d6 turns to kill the Skaven, starting from the turn they enter the room. Once all the Skaven are done, the wizard may read aloud the scroll of banishment as he does so. Blah blah, destroys it in a giant column of fire. If they do not thwart the summoning in time, in the monster phase of the final turn, the demon wakes and possesses the Skaven, and he grows into a giant well, minotaur basically, but we'll use a rat ogre miniature. Uh, the Demon Minotaur is similar to the Minotaurs in the rulebook, except he has 20 wounds and 3 attacks. It will attack the warrior just as if it were a normal Minotaur. If the warrior kills the Demon Minotaur, it bursts into flames and creates a fire column and then shoots into the roof of the cavern. Well, I guess it's a good thing we bought a troll slayer. I guess so! <laughs> the mighty column of fire that hits the roof, um, whether they're created by the statue of Minotaur exploding, creates a near vertical tunnel outside world, and you can just leap through that. Uh, they're ordered with D6 times 150 gold each for the part of the adventure. First round, let's reroll a one and get an unexpected event. We're just standing around, really. We get a five. Five power. Alright. Uh, so we skip through the warrior phase. We can't really go anywhere. Mm -hmm. The exploration phase, you can draw us a new room. Alright, so where are we going? We're going to, going to the guard room. room. Sweet. The dim light of your uh, lantern illuminates what appears to be a checkerboard, a floor covered in a checkerboard pattern. The guard room will always trigger an event card. Unless stated in the adventure book. Just for this adventure, you've got six on the war dancer. Uh, yep. Esteban and the ranger are both five. But also so, first. So we can agree <laughs> we are in the way. So um, yes. And then of course, uh, uh, Bori's going last because you know he's mm -hmm. a dwarf. So uh, up to you. We got to get in here and figure out where we want to be standing uh, when we reveal our event. I can see who's there. Well, I'm going to move my war dancer in two, One, and that two. way he is saving two movement if he should need it. Sweet. 
Uh, I will move him in. Well, it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to put him. He's carrying the scroll, so if he dies, we're in trouble. Oh, I'll put him beside the word answer. That's fair, yep. Uh, we're going to go with. Uh, well, now we go with Esteban, and he's going to go one, two, three, and then Bori will go, and he'll go one, two, and just kind of hang out. Now we've got some room to fight some bad guys, but not too many bad guys. So. Uh, that's our warrior phase. Let's see what we have for the event phase. So... Oh, two two six Skaven. Skaven. That's appropriate. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> it is a Skaven dungeon. How many do we? How many show up? Nine. Nine All Skaven. Right. So if someone's getting an oddball. So put down the uh, the tokens real fast and shuffle them up, and we'll see who's getting the oddball. So for you, you've got the ranger and the elf token for yours. Yep. The barbarian for me is going to be the um, the no. noble, and then the dwarf's going to be the. The All right, well, I'm not going to look at it because I know which one's my ranger one. Because okay. it's, it's, it's slightly like, faded? Yeah. I'll do it then. It's going to be you. Uh, ranger, oh. he, gets a, he gets a bonus, buddy. And that's nine. That's two each, plus a bonus one. So these two are one on one him. Uh, these two are one on one him. This one is also going after the ranger, if possible, later on. And then two to here and two to here. Got the scroll. They heard Ooh. tell. All right, so uh, exploration phase, nothing happens. And we're on to the next turn. So power phase, we'll see what we got. Oh, it better be big money. Big, big money. money. Hey, five, five sweet. Good. So that's a two plus to cast your spells then. Mm -hmm. uh, and starting at initiative six, it's well, the warrior that phase. would be the war dancer. That would be him. Uh, so the war dancer is going to, uh, here's where I will now massively mess up. Okay. Uh, well, you didn't move at all. So you can make, no. you'll be able to continue to move and fight basically mm -hmm. forever. And you could death blow all the way around here. You could go one, two, three, four, and then start moving and fighting afterwards. So their weapon skill three, and I am... Five. So... Uh, so uh, their weapon skill three, so I'll hit on threes. You got it, yep. So on the first one, ah, that's what I figured. And no luck. The noble and the ranger. Which one do you want to do? Uh, why don't you go first? I'll allow I'll it. Go first. I'll oh, you'll you allow it? Privilege so of going sweet. before me. Well then, we'll start with the noble, and he's just going to start making stabs. So yeah, he's weapon skill four on the Skaven, who's weapon skill three. So hitting on three, so the first attack misses. This is oh. uh, I do have a luck, or I don't have a luck, even so I'm going to be able to do it. No. All right. Well, um, now I guess it's up. It's up to me. <laughs> fine. Prince Loran, you can do something. Prince Loran says, "Fine, it's up to me." Always up to uh, me. He is going to cast a spell. Uh, can you cast spells diagonally? Sure, anytime. Uh, does it say straight line? What does it say? It says it says a straight. Well, I do the monster, and then I can do a monster behind him, and then a monster behind him. Mm, I'd say you can do diagonally. Yeah, why not? On the same. Oh, on the same board section. Oh, okay. Well, this is easy then. So. We have five, so I'm gonna so I'm gonna cast Shockwave on a two plus. Sweet. <laughs> go one. Can you just get rid of those dice? Those dice are hot trash. Oh, All right. So, <laughs> so having retired the dice now, um, I guess it's on. It's to all the down the Troll Slayer. As is tradition, he's yeah. just gonna start working his way around. So he'll try and save the elf. He'll be like, elf, I save you. So let's go four for him. Three ones in a row for us, man. Let's on see. Can, we make it four? Can we make it four? No, he hits it. Uh, and then he is going to be strength seven right now, which means I think he just auto kills this guy. It has three wounds, and he's plus eight basically because of his rune axe. So he does fourteen wounds. Sorry, my three has eleven wounds and explodes it. Yeah. So he'll death blow into the next one on a three plus. Hits it. Uh, so he's plus four. So that's going to be a nine minus toughness three is six wounds. Kills that one. So he death blows into the next one. Hits, <laughs> plus four, 10, kills that one. Death blows into the next one, hits, plus four, because of his rune axe, six minus three is three, he's only got three wounds, so he's dead. And we get four on the card. Troll Slayer, you've, you've pleased me with your dwarvish superiority. <laughs> so now it's on to the monster phase, uh, and they, we start with the ones closest, so this one right here is gonna attack the war dancer. Uh, weapon skill five against weapon skill not five, it has to be, I have to roll for it because uh, you're not you're the person not controlling him. So it's a four balls to hit. He hits, and oh. he's strength three with toughness. Oh, oh what's sorry, your belt do? What's your belt, belt do? Uh, my belt is four, so I am currently Pl plus one toughness. toughness. Your toughness is four. So he's strength. Oh, no, so I'm plus two toughness. So toughness, toughness five. five. So he'll be minus, he'll basically be at uh, d6 plus one wounds. as Because he's only strength three. Oh, no, no, never mind. He's d6 plus three minus five. So that's going to be eight minus five is going to be three wounds. Three wounds? Uh oh. Right in the elf. The next one gets to try and attack you on a four plus. He misses. Uh, then this guy steps into the noble, let's say, and tries to attack on a four plus. You roll that one. Yeah, use your sweet dice. Oh, now you're now they no, work. Now I'm rolling. Uh, so I'm toughness three. So you get your d6 plus. 
Uh, plus three is four, so take a wound. Wounds left on Esteban. Uh, and then the one that's gonna go after my Slayer. He's gonna make an attack. Roll for it, four plus. Hits. <laughs> uh, I've done this four. Oh! So nine minus four is five wounds, and then a nine. And nine. Ouch. Uh, and the last one's supposed to be going after him, so it's yeah. one, two. And he'll make his attack diagonally. And hits. Yeah. Four plus. And then D6, what's your armor? Four? Four, yep. That was four, sorry. Uh, so five minus just one damage. One oh, the monsters. All right, well, nothing for uh, nothing for the um, the exploration phase because obviously we're currently engaged. Mm -hmm. So roll for the power. See what your your not a one. Gonna not get. a one. Ah! Ah! I expect an event. Flip it. One d six orcs and one d six orc archers. Oh, no. So the first one. D six so orcs. D six orcs. Four, four of them appear in the room. And two, two archers. archers. So the archers are as far away as possible. That's gonna be actually here and here, here, and here in the corners. That's right. And then, <laughs> and then four the orcs. orcs just fill in. It's one orc. So one, two, fighting Esteban and Can you put an orc there. Yeah, one here, fighting you, and then one behind the Skaven fighting the War Dancer. Well, we got some work to do, boys. <laughs> Let's see how we can do this. Uh, it right. is, it War is Dancer's is going first. Warrior fade. Here we go. This, first. this is it. This is it this time. I'm you gonna do it. One. So you have four movement to spend. We should yeah. grab a big die just to track like your remaining movement, yeah. and that way you can keep moving. So three blocks. Eat it, Skaven. Hit him. Hey. So D six plus three. So if you roll a uh, three or better, basically he's dead. Nope. <laughs> Does one. Uh, so no death blow, and that's it. <laughs> You're a killing machine, Ziggy. All right, so then it's between the noble and the ranger. Which one do you want uh, to do I'll go first with the noble. Okay. Uh, I got... You're the ranger, sorry? Yeah, with the ranger, I've only got one power. Yeah. Which means I need a six to cast anything, so I'm just going to stab that orc. Sure, well, you can still cast. It doesn't count as your action. Uh, I believe it does. Nope. Nope. Just casting spell castings anytime. Wave again. Do shockwave again, the orc. But sure. I need a six. Do it. Do it. You rolled a six before. No! Now you're going to stab an orc. He's weapon skill three, so three's right. it. <laughs> oh, no dice. Oh, the elves. <laughs> All right, well, the noble. What you got, Esteban? Uh, the greens have shown up, so the dwarf will, will be excited about that. But let's see if Esteban can kill some, some uh, Skaven first. So with his uh, rape here on a three plus, he hits D6 plus one wounds. So basically D6 minus two. Uh, so one wound. Then he gets to hit again. He misses. Keeps on stabbing. So he does one wound to that little guy, and he's got two left. Oh, what would we do on that one? And it's down to the man, the legend, that is Bory Goldfist. He'll start attacking the one that's already wounded on a three. Hits it. There we go. Kills it, because he's there plus four, go. so eight. Uh, so then the death blow into the next one on a three. Hits it. Kills it. Death blow into the next Skaven on a three. Hits it. Kills it. Uh, into the orc now on a three. Some, some serious dwarf work. Hits. Strength seven. Uh, 10 minus 4 is 6 wounds, kills it too. Alright, well, it's it's dwarf o'clock apparently. Um, and, and now it's the monster phase. With the closest ones, these two Skaven are both engaged with the, um, the war dancer. The war oh, dancer. I got to roll for his belt. Oh, his belt, yep. Yeah. Three, uh, three plus so he's, one. He's plus one toughness this turn. Toughness, so four. toughness four. Sweet. So attacking him uh, on a 4 plus, that's Skaven. Hits. Uh, that's a total of 5 minus 4 is 1 damage. 5 left. The next one. Hits. Uh, that's five. Uh, that's four minus four is zero damage. Uh, it's all the Skaven gone, so now the orcs can go. So this one will step up. You want to roll, have him attack the noble. Misses. Misses. The next one will step up and attack the troll slayer. Misses. And then this one's going to try and get to him, but not be able to make it. Uh, the. Well, can't, sorry. You can't move through front. I guess you can go one, two, three to here, yeah. Oops. Yeah. Stab on a four plus into the war dancer and miss. Yay. Uh, then it's archer o'clock. Um, oh, we have to draw to see who they're actually firing at. So draw two. Peace. Those two. So it's going to be Our the noble. And the oh, that makes sense. We can line them up Straight right. Straight ahead, yep. Uh, blitz skill on them is where? Blitz skill four plus. And the noble, roll for it, four plus. Hits. Yes. D6 plus three. Six minus three is three damage, so he's gonna go from 11 wounds down to eight. Eight left, and then the one into the troll slayer. Misses. Power phase, don't beef this, Ranger. We need to need a decent power phase right now. We need definitely a decent power phase. Three. It's not at least not an event, okay. Yeah. So. On a three, I can cast on a four plus. Yeah, let's see what your belt does, too. My belt, three, plus one toughness. Sweet. All right. You're first. So, war dancer. 
Kill that Skaven that's in front of you. That's three plus. You got him. Oh. Plus three. He's dead. <laughs> Forward. Barely. There's one wound. Uh, so I can Goes go into a death blow into death D. Death him. Yep. Skaven. Hits. Hits. Kills Eight. Him. Kills him too. And into the orc. orc. Three plus. Hits. Hits. Uh, uh, won't kill him. Nope. And then you don't I get to use your movement because you don't have a death yeah. blow going off. That's right. Four minus four, which is zero. So it's on to the ranger or the noble. Who do you want to have go first? I'll have the. I ranger. think you need to start throwing some some heals around there, bud. Yeah, I'm gonna. So I'm gonna drop uh, aura of vitality. So on a four plus, we um, each warrior will gain, regain one wound. Yes, Sweet. so you all get one get wound back. That's great because if you get knocked out and you cast it, you're functionally immortal. But it's not automatic like the wizards. Really good spell. It's almost as good and as the healing And then I'll stab light. that orc. Get him. Stab. No, nope. 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 He's, he's out of stabs for the day. <laughs> then uh, it's noble time. So into the dwarf on a three plus because we'll almost go four. Hits. And then it's d6 plus one. Nothing, no damage. But he still gets to attack again. Hits. Six. That's going to be two damage. So he's got, I think, one left. Because orcs mm -hmm. have how many wounds? Just three. So he has to hit again. Three plus. Hits. No damage. Try again. Hits. Uh, it's five. So that's enough to kill him. That's one wound. Then he'll get to attack again into the next one. Misses. Afraid of that guy with a thousand stabs. Uh, and then it's Troll Slayer. Let's see what we can do here. Let's uh, let's kill some orcs. So three bluffs to the first one. Strength seven. Just obliterates him into the next one. Three plus. No, he misses. The ranger healed four wounds, so he gets 20 gold, because you get experience for doing your heals. Mm -hmm. uh, we are on to the monster phase, so one orc attacking the war dancer, and a four plus. Hits. Uh, eight minus four is four damage. Uh, two archers both attacking me. <laughs> what you got? It's archer number one on the noble. Four plus. Misses. This is archer on the dwarf. This Shoots right over your head. So our phase, what do you got? Uh, I think I need to throw out another heal. My war dancer's got two wounds left. Yes. Oh! oh, why are you doing this? We just about cleared the room. And D6, D6 goblins. goblins and spearmen <laughs> and D6 <laughs> goblin archers. Oh, this first room is gonna kill all of us. All right. All right. So D6 spearmen. Four. four. One for each of us. Archers, stickers, four. four. That one's your minus one hit. My amulet is pretty sweet, but everybody got one of everything. Uh, and now we start the killing again. War dancer, what you all got? All right, war dancer <laughs> on the goblin. Threes. Hits. Hits. Plus three. Dead. Smoked. Uh, so you can attack the orc. Oh, I gotta roll my belt for this turn. That's right. Uh, uh, five, so I'm plus so two toughness. Plus two toughness. Sweet. So you could move an attack and try and hit another goblin instead if you want, because they're easier to kill, or you could try and kill the orc. I'm gonna try and kill the orc. Actually, you can't kill the orc because death blow wouldn't go through this square, so you'll have to move first. And use one point of your movement. If you want, I'd okay, probably go. Do I have to escape from pinning or no? Nope, I'm... you're automatic. Okay, so yeah, we'll just go here and we'll kill some goblins. Kill some goblins. Threes. Missing. No! Got a, got a goblin. Make sure you put them on the card. They put them on the cards of the people. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. They belong to. And then it's either the noble or the whiz. Uh, well, I guess. Oh, with a one, I need a six to cast anything. Do it. All right, here comes a six. I'm gonna aura vitality again. Of course. No. Nope. Stab a goblin. Three plus. Stab a goblin. No. <laughs> just, just for nothing dice. but one. Roll these dice. Get rid of these dice. I don't know what you're doing. Still using them. Fire the dice. All right. Uh, so the noble. Yeah, I guess we just start stopping goblins. Uh, on a three plus, we hit him. D6 plus one. That's gonna be three minus three is zero. Attack him again. More stabs. And we get five, which is gonna be two damage. Do we hit him? How many wounds do they have? Goblins have two wounds. Two wounds they just kill him. Get another attack on the next goblin. Hits. Three damage, so no damage, but he hits again. Hits. Seven minus three is four damage, kills him, and he's out of death blows because he's not got anybody nearby. Death blows, sorry, but rapier stabs because they can beat anybody. Uh, and that's Esteban getting two more goblins. And then it's, all right, my dwarf, let's see if we can kill that goblin and death blow into the next one. So three plus to hit the goblin, save that wizard. We hit him, plus four, nine, we oh, kill him. Oh yeah. And then into the orc with death blow on a three plus. Strength seven. Just obliterates him. Oh, you're doing great, Bori. You're doing He's great. Doing a troll's we work. Do, you're doing a troll slayer's <laughs> work. Uh, so that's us done for the round. Monster in phase. Well, I guess we start with the goblins. Mm -hmm. And everybody gets a single shot. He can't fire his bow because he's engaged, so they're both going to go after him. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're going to go after me. So I'm going to do these ones first. So shooting my noble on a five because he's minus one. Nope. Actually, he might be on it. Yeah, he's on a five. Yeah. And then I guess the troll slayer on a four. Nope. nope. Shoots right over your head. Uh, so weapon skill two. 
Which means I think I actually hit you on uh, not fours. I was hitting melee against the word answer first one. No, second one. No. Goblins, there's two orcs, sorry, both into my characters. So, so into I'm the noble. The noble. Nope. Misses, and the troll slayer Misses. shoots over his head. Sweet. All right, uh, exploration doesn't happen, so new phase, man. Let's do it. Oh, Come on, sweet power. Sweet power not roll. Not a one, not a one, not a one. Four. Yeah, I'll take it. it. That's a so three plus to cast. I cast on three, so I'm going to vitality he, he on He goes three. first. He goes oh, yeah, first. he goes yeah. first. Sorry. That's okay. Uh, so he's going to three on that, go on that uh, goblin. Sweet. Goblin. Hits. Yeah. Kills. Oh, so he's going to die. Uh, and then you can death bone to the next one. Mm -hmm. Hits. Hits. Smokes him. Kills him. So now you can use one point of your movement and go down to three. Yep. Hit the next goblin. I hit that goblin. The goblin slenu. You got two goblins. Off the clock. All right, you're yep, so I'm going to cast on a three plus. I'll cast aura of vitality Sweet. again. Let me get some wounds back. Get some wounds coming back here. You. Heck yeah. So everybody goes up. I go to 11 on the troll sir. And I only get 15 gold that time because Prince Lorraine is, of course, maxed out. Maxed out and heals. I'm a 10 and 11 for the Esteban. It's a 10 and 11 for my troll sir <laughs> board. Ziggy's <laughs> feeling great. Yeah. Uh, Okay, so and then I can move. Can I you move? You still move and fight, yeah. Okay, so I will move one, two, three. That way you're standing next to the door for me to kill all these guys, which is pretty cool. Right. And I will hit. I'll, so I'll hit the goblin. Sweet. Hits. Oh, finally! Kill him. Oh, and then death blow into the orc. Threes. No. Well, it's my noble time. I kind of want to just leave this little curvature of dudes for Bori to go kill. So I might actually shoot my pistol. Um, so it's on a four plus. No, I miss. They're moving. Uh, so then Bori goes, and he's gonna go like this. He's gonna go one, and then two to step into here, so that we can get all three of them. And we'll start with the goblin. I want a three. We hit him. Strength three. Strength four, sorry. So five minus three is two. That's enough to kill him. Death blow into the orc on a three. Miss second phase. They both attack, but they're both gonna attack Bori. So four is hitting the first one. Does yep. d six plus three, so six is gonna be two damage. No, goes five. down. Uh, six plus five minus four is one damage. Actually, yeah, you're right. So another ten, and then the other one. The other one misses. misses. Uh, exploration phase over. New power phase. All right. Uh, whose was this? This was. That's the uh, your, that's your. Oh, it's my drill, sir. Yep. That's right. Goes in the pile. Uh, so let's go, big money. No! Stop doing that! What happened? Boom! Kaden! No! No, 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 no. No, no, no. no. This just no. ends. If this is drawn in the first room, it's just drawn another event card immediately. Oh, no. You can't, you can't no. have a cave in immediately. Boom! Bats! Bats! <laughs> Why? All right, roll it. Here we go. Double one. This is the worst one. Oh, the one! I mean, the dice are good for something, I guess. They can just be our event dice. So draw me two tokens to see whose they are. It's gonna be the ranger and the slayer. Sweet. All right. So that's not too bad. Answer can probably kill both those guys. So <laughs> he'll move and go back up to four. Yep. And it's uh, warrior phase. Belt. Belt's his gonna belt be is nothing this turn. Nothing this turn. Uh -oh. It's it's worn out. All right. Uh, so he's gonna hit the giant bat first. Uh, eat that bat. Eat that. Uh, uh, I think that does it. It's toughness two. It's toughness two. So it takes three. It only has one wound, so oh. it dies. Squish. And the I'll death blow into the other one. Uh, you have to use a point of movement to do it technically because you don't get death things that are adjacent unless you move. So you just go bam. Oh, like I see. This. Right. Well, yeah. I don't know. It breaks the. It just breaks the rule for yep. death blow. And hits. he hits two. And roll anything. Dead. Dead. And then you can go down two and stand over here if you want. Yeah, and I'll just hit that orc. Look at, me, look at me dancing. You're dancing so good. I'm finally dancing. I'm dancing. I'm dancing. I'm finally dancing. <laughs> all right. So all right. You're Ted dancing. Yeah. All right. On a six, I'm gonna heal us all again. Do it. No. Nope. In the orc on the three? Orc. No, not stabbing the orc. Well, okay then. Uh, Esteban will go. He's just gonna stop and go one, two, and then try and do a rapier attack into that orc. On three. D6 plus one. So seven. Uh, minus four is three. Does three wins and kills it. Squish. And then he tries to attack the next one. Hits. So he kills it. Just, just human and dwarf superiority. It means that we are uh, done during the exploration phase, so you get to draw the next room. All right. It'll be fun because the lantern is standing adjacent. So what's our next dungeon tile? And we'll we'll work. Out, actually, sorry, we should draw a treasure card now. Okay. Actually, we do that after we reveal the room. We reveal the room first, and at the end of the turn, we draw a treasure do we? card. Okay. Uh, I don't know you. No, you're right. No, you're right. At the end of the actually, it's the end of the warrior phase. We do it. So draw a treasure card. It is time freeze ring. So it goes directly to your leader. As you put it on, this ring freezes like ice and bursts into a cold blue flame. It still feels comfortable to wear. Sweet. The time freeze ring may be used at any time, giving the warrior an additional warrior's phase straight away. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I should also say that uh, his he, his war crown of Tiernock, yep. once per game, he can just take your turn. Sweet. So he can freeze time twice. He's got 
double time freeze now. Nice. Well, you can't hand that off if you want to somebody else, but like you could give the other one to the word answer if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. um, An additional warrior face straight away. Well, I think he's just going to keep it because he's a selfish. And you can always do it later. Yeah, you, know, you can change your mind so later selfish. on. So selfish. Um, and so, and then now afterwards, the next character right. you get to choose which the next character to get one is until everyone's gotten one. Right. Um, then we do our gold. Esteban killed two orcs, two orc archers, and two goblins. And that's going to give him... Do we get treasure cards for each event? No. Uh, yes, do actually, we, you do, I'm pretty this sure. Says this, no treasure card. Three of these events will give us a treasure card. So actually, you should deal out two more. Because it's everyone you complete. Actually, we got four. Everybody gets yeah. a treasure card. Yeah. That's right. So the next treasure card is... A healing, healing solve. solve. Give that to your I'm giving that to the word answer, so it's probably just going to drink it right away. Okay, and then you get the next one. The next one Who gets is... It? Ooh, darting steel daggers. Sweet. You find two daggers of purest steel forged in the time of the High Elves. See? Of course. Ancient sigils bind powerful spells of destruction to their blades. While using the darting steel dagger, your warrior gets plus one attacks, and you do not have to roll to see if he hits his opponent. Each attack made with the dagger automatically hits. However, each hit will only do 1d6 wounds, no modifiers of strength. Um, well, I guess I'll give that to the noble. That makes sense. He has a dagger on his belt. Yep. And we can always sell it later if we want. And, and then, then what does the, the troll slayer, slayer get by default? Default! Default! Talent of Death! Oh my uh -oh. gosh. Uh, this magical artifact sucks all the light out of the surrounding area. Once your warrior finishes moving, you may use the Talent of Death to cause D6 wounds to every monster adjacent with no modifiers for toughness or armor. And roll for each one separately. Once per adventure, which means you can keep it and have it be used more than once. How about... Uh, no, that's mine! No, you don't want the time freeze ring I don't want the time freeze ring. I'm right. fine. I'm fine. Maybe yeah. later. Yeah. Is that one once per adventure or once per... Once, it's once per adventure. That's pretty cool, actually. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about that later. We'll see how we'll see how things are going. <laughs> uh, so these get dealt uh, for our actual heal, like um, yep. stuff now. So I got two each of these at fifty five. That's two twenty, and then two goblins at twenty each is going to be two sixty. Seventy for the word answer. Yeah, um, and a whopping twenty. Ooh, for, for the, the one goblin, the lone goblin. Uh, I got two orcs for one ten, two goblins for forty, so one fifty, and then two four six seven skaven. That are 40 each. <laughs> uh, so 150 plus 4 times 280 is 430 for the troll slayer. Literally the first room. All right, so now the exploration phase will happen and we'll draw the next dungeon card. It's oh, the torture, the torture chamber. chamber. My god. All right, well, we found the torture chamber, boys. It was apparently full of everyone from the dungeon. Yeah, there can't be anything in this room. It's just going to be full of mentors. We're just going to get nothing but mentors <laughs> in the next room. Everyone's gonna get a battle level in the first adventure. Roll me a sweet power phase and don't one, don't beef it. Don't beef it again. Not a one. Not a one. Not a one. Two. I mean, it's slightly better. All right. Uh, uh, what's your elf get for his belt? Uh, he gets uh, plus one toughness. See, toughness four, and then he moves in. Mm-hmm. So he'll go one, two. Uh, I guess I should move out of the doorway, so maybe I'll just go two to there, right? Three? Yep. Yeah. He's got one point of movement left. Yeah. No, he, he can't attack him on this turn, so it doesn't really matter, but mm -hmm. we'll keep marking it. And then, and then uh, uh, my, go. He's So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and heal again. Five plus. On a five. Yeah, oh, so everybody gets one back. Spooned. So I go to 11 on Esteban and 11 on Bori. In gold. Yep. And then we're into... Uh, he's going to move, yep. so he will also go... Uh, I guess he can go one... No, I don't want him there. Ugh, I don't know where to put him. I'll put him there. Am I in your way? I mean, not really. You should be okay. All right. Well, I can go in the corner. Two, cool. Probably, yeah, the safest place is the corner. Yes. <laughs> um, for both your guys. So then the noble's going to go. Esteban's going to go. He's going to go one, two, three, and try and guard the ward answer because he's almost dead. He can just pile it once yeah, he's Yeah, I'm going to probably uh, drink that healing potion at some point. Sure. And I'm going to go one, two with Bori, and we'll guard the, the elf and give a nice big death blow swath for him. All right, so we've well, entered the room. Can't be, it, it can't be any more orcs or skaven or goblins or, or, or bats. Or a caven. <laughs> or a caven. So it is instead the port colors. No! All right, so we once all the characters have entered the board section, a portcullis slam shot on them, cutting them off, uh, and they have to retrace their steps until they find the key. Place a portcullis marked a mark across the doorway to show that it's blocked. Draw their event card immediately. It's, it's it's actually the one we came through that drops down as we pass by. So now we can't go back. We can only go forward. Only forward. But we know that we can get out. At the, the only way out is to go deeper into the. But it means we can't bottle now. We can't just. And decide we draw we, an event card. We draw another one right now. Yeah, who are we trapped with? Boom! We're trapped with six goblin archers. That seems dangerous. Bonus archers. The elf. Oh, the word answer the does. Word answer, and then who else? Uh, the the dwarf. dwarf. So these two will be like that. 
Sweet. It's a new power phase. Here we go. Let's do it. Not a one, not a one, not a one. Sweet. Yeah. Oh. Big oh. power no whammy. Oh, um, I, think, I, think, I think I'm just going to, uh, well, first thing I'm going to do is the, uh, the well, word answer. Word answer goes first, yep. So four uh, movement. It's got four movement. So Can you kill I them all in one go? Use one. If you get one, kill this guy, use one more, you can death pull all the way around then. This guy? Yeah. So if you kill him, then you could yeah. step into the next right. snare and then kill everyone. I so you've used one so far. Use one, so let's let's go with that. Oh, let's saying, see what my belt is. Yeah. The belt is oh so any one blow I just ignore. Sweet. Um, but it does mean I'm only toughness three right now. So threes? Um, so on threes! Hits. Yes! Kills. Smoked! So now you go down to two movement, you oh, step in here, and now you can just here use Here we go, now movement. the dance of death begins! Yeah. <laughs> so, into him I guess, and we'll go around. You hold my fancy legs! Hits! There kills. we go. Five minus three is two, that kills him. Next and one. next one! Hits. Oh, I'm getting cocky! Kills! <laughs> next oh, one. Look at me, look at this! Oh. Yes. <laughs> Run, three goblins deep. Uh, so now it's the ranger. Yeah, so I am actually, I am going to shockwave again. Do you want to move first? Uh, why? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I like it in the corner. Cool, that sounds good. There's mushrooms here. True. I'm just saying if you'd be adjacent to this and we kill them all. It doesn't matter, it's anywhere on the board. for. No, the, but for exploring uh, the next room, we'd have to waste a turn and trigger an event. Oh, fine. One, two. Oh. That's, you stop there. Yeah, okay. All right, so, uh, so I'm going to shockwave. I mean, you could try and do it by escaping from pinning. Uh, escape from pinning on a three. Try it. Yeah. All right. Now shockwave. This is this is the two plus D six wounds. Some moving Street Fighter that looks like this. I'm sure. Hadouken. Uh, well, first I have to cast it, which I cast on a two plus because yep. I got six power. Two. Oh, just. And then it's basically on a three plus. He just takes D six plus one wounds. So three plus. No. <laughs> okay. And I stab. Okay. Now I stab him. Stab. Oh. And, and kills him. Kill. And that's it. Stevon gets to go. He'll take a step forward. And he'll make an attack into the first goblin on a three. Ah, uh, he misses. And then good old Bori goes one, two. And he'll make an attack into that goblin on a Do three. It. Hits. Uh, plus four is six, liquefies him. Minus three is three wounds, he only has two. The next one on a three. Hits. Strength seven. He explodes into a fine green mist. All right, well, draw an event or draw a uh, treasure card treasure for a card event. Is. Ooh, a lucky talisman. Nice. Now you can give that to the leader. And Use once per adventure. You were going to use the lucky talisman at any time. Any attack made while using the lucky talisman will automatically hit. Sweet. Um, I'm actually going to give that to the war dancer. It goes to the leader, and, oh, then, and then you go around the circle again. Everybody's got one right now, so you go back to oh, the leader, okay. and then well, you can choose to you can choose to change it yeah, later yeah. on during your activation. Yep, that's cool. All right then. And so a new turn. New turn. No exploration because we're not adjacent yet. So it's power phase. Three. Three. Uh, so you get to go first. Oh, and what does your belt say? You XP first, right? Oh, that's right. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I got forty out of that. I got and I, six. And I go to four seventy. The move into the square to to. to well, the, yeah, he's gonna go first. Yeah. Whatever you want to do. Uh, well, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna drink this healing potion. Sweet. So it's two d six wounds. I'm just gonna chug it. Chug a lug. I'm back, back. With full wounds. And that gets discarded. Oh, is it used twice or once? No, it's twice. Once. Or I can use it on two different guys. Right, one D6 D6 each, but, yeah. But I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a pig. Greedy elf. So it goes so. back in the pile. Doesn't Doesn't, no, no, it goes in discard pile, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you move? And, yeah, I guess he'll just move here because I need that space for him to move, right? Okay. You can also go to the diagonal if you want and just move in next okay. turn because it can't be the same let's, thing. Let's do that. Sweet. And then... Uh, He'll step in. He'll step in. Sweet. The noble will step in. The troll sail will just wait in the rear. In the rear with the gear. Do you want to cast uh, healing? Uh, on four? Yeah, on four plus. Everybody take a wound. Ooh. Everybody take a wound. So I'm on to Back. 12 now for Bori and fully healed for us. Oh. Phase. We'll see what our next room is. It's... Boom! The Corridor. Uh, and we get to determine where we want to be. One, we'll two, go three. We'll go towards you. Turn. New turn. So New turn. power. No one. No one. Don't get, don't get us ambushed. There's nope. a four. And you're going first, Ward Answer. Uh, well, you can't move. Oh, yeah, you can. You can go diagonal. Oh, I can? Go oh, there. right. Yeah. So I can go like that. One. Yep. One, two, three, four. Sweet. Uh, and then him. him we'll go yep. one, one, two, three. Mm. And I will attempt to count on three plus. You guys need more life. I got. I'm I'm two away from full on Bori, but you All can right, just wait if you want. Was there anything else you could cast? Not really. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. So four plus. Boom, four plus. You get yeah. a wound back again. You get five XP. Woo! Or gold rather. 
Uh, and then we go with the Noble. He's gonna go one, two, three, four, and stand here. And then we're gonna go with Bori, one, two, three, four. And new round. So power phase. Oh, don't, don't get us ambushed. Oh, sweet. Look at that. Uh, you go first with the word answer. What's his belt say? Uh, his belt says, no, Nothing. I'm not home right Didn't now. matter because we didn't get attacked. Yep. Although they would attack immediately if we had. Yeah. So he's going to go one, two. Yeah, because he's got to. He's going to go one, two. It would be more useful if you stood there because you're going to go after him anyway. Oh, no, you want to explore, yeah, don't you? I want to explore, right? I mean, you might want to go, oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. And I'll just go, oh, do you want to cast anything? Try and get my last wound back? Sure, on a, on a two plus, take your last wound back. No! <laughs> Spur. Cocky. Spur. I go one, two, and then one, two. All right. Uh, New phase. Power phase. Oh, sorry, exploration first, so see what our room is. Exploration phase. It's yep. Boom! Uh oh. Oh, sorry now. All right, so. So now you gotta take this and split it in half? Split in half. You deal them into two piles. Starting at the bottom. You have to start from the bottom because you have to start where the ejection room could be. Because otherwise you're putting the ejection room at the top. So p pick them back up in the order that you picked them up. There you go. There you go. Yep. You have to deal from the bottom. Because otherwise the ejection room ends up on top and we end the mission. Okay. There you go. So now you deal from the bottom. Yep. There you go. I know it's weird, but it's so that... No, no, it makes sense. It makes sense. It's Perfect. And then they go left and right. Yep. Sweet. And now you roll for power. And hopefully we don't get ambushed. Dun, 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 Four. Nope, good. All right. All right, boss. Which way are we going? Well, War Dance is going to dance on in. Okay. Moonwalk. I'm going to turn him around. And he will moonwalk backwards. One, two, three, four. Uh, what does his belt say? What does his belt say? His belt says, Oh, I'm still again. sleeping. Belt's tired. He's like... Bring stuff to me so I can fight it. <laughs> uh, and then my, uh, he's gonna just go one, two. Ranger. Which way are we going? Yeah, we'll go that way. Always, always forward, well, never you backwards. Can, you can immediately explore this one this turn. It'll take you longer to explore Okay, so let's do that. Okay, cool. My Noble, he'll go one, two, three, four, not stand in the word answer's way. And then we'll go one, two, three, four, and stand here with the Troll Slayer. I can't cut cards when he's standing there, so we'll just go one yeah. back with the yeah. All right. Noble. And then I can just explore here. Sure see can. What's in here. Exploration phase, dungeon card. Another passageway. Sweet. We're doubling back. Uh, so nothing happens in the passageway. No, well, let's do a power phase and see what happens. Ooh. No ambush, no ambush, no ambush. Oh, Sweet, we're good. Six. Oh, let's raise the door down here. Mm-hmm. All right, do we want to go that way or do we want to go that way? Just keep going. All right. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And for me, one, two, three. Uh, three, just stand there, and then one, two, three, four. Go mine. Phase. No ambush. Oh. And my belt. Your belt is oh, plus, plus two toughness. Two toughness. Yep. Uh, yo, wrong guy. Oh, yeah. One, one two, two, three, three four. four. He's shuffling. Every yep. day he's shuffling. And then one, two. Stand in the other one so I can get to the front with the dwarf. Sure. Uh, that yeah. means your word answer doesn't get to move, though. No, he's already moved. No, no, I know, but next turn, oh, so I I'm just going to go saying. one, two, and stand here, and that way... You can, you're, yeah. not, you're not cutting corners yet. Yeah. Oh, sorry, he'll go last, actually. We'll go one, two, three, four. Yeah, and you can just. And one, yeah. two. What do we got? A Another passageway. passageway. Oh, this is. All right, so one of the orange passageways, and we'll have it turn back towards you. Yep. And see what we can see. Power right. phase. Uh, power phase, uh-oh. I can smell a one. Oh, there it is. here it comes. All right, immediately resolve the event. Boom! Encounter! Oh, Encounter? Happens. Slumped against the wall, the warriors find a dying dwarf prospector. Just leave him. Hey. Riddled with orc arrows. As they approach, he growls a warning, threatening them with a huge axe. When he sees that they are not orcs or evil creatures, he calms down and gives them a key. Oh. Well, there's the key we can get out of the portcullis then. Sweet. This is the key of the portcullis. Without it, will you'll never get through. One of the players should keep this card to remind the warrior he has the cool. key. Give it to the elf, I guess. Yeah, well, he's the leader. He's like, oh, I'll take that key. All, All right. right. And we're on to the Easy peasy event. Yep. Uh, so, Your first word answer. Goes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Stand Jason, go corner corner. Four. Yep. And then we go one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Explore from the corner, nope. right? Power nope. phase. There we go. Power phase. Oh, power phase. Did I die? <laughs> Sweet. Every time we don't need it. Yep. And uh, what does my belt do? Oh, I can just ignore. ignore. 
Ignore the wound. Okay, yeah, I'll just shuffle like up again. This is gonna be. That's how it always happens, man. Move, up, move all the it. treasure stuff over here so we can make more space. Move the events and the treasure yeah. stuff over here. All right, so I will go one, Wrong two. Wrong guy. Wrong guy. Oh, Wrong yeah. Guy. There you go. Well, he's gonna dance around. Yeah. Do, 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 one, do, 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 do. two, three. And he's gonna just move over here. Yep. Yeah. I'll go one, two, three, four. Do you wanna try and heal me on two plus again? My last wound? Oh, you took a wound? Yep. I didn't well, I just you failed, you failed a wound before. That's oh, all. right, right, right. Well, we got there ambushed. You, go. you did, Back. sweet. And so we're fully healed. <laughs> Flip me a room. What do we got? Here we go. Exploration. Big money. Boom. It's a passage. Again. I this feel better like, be I feel it. like this is just the maze. This better be it. All right. Uh, so one more passageway. Passage passage way. Oh, and then we'll do the exit yep, going this way. Yep. Sweet, sweet, sweet. This must be it, right? I mean, you, I one mean, would one would think. So power phase? After that first room. Four. Four. Word All answer. Right. Belt. Yep, my belt. Systems. Nothing again. Just goes back to sleep. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we always line up next to each other. Another power phase. Oh, here we go. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Ones. I'm gonna roll in ones. All right, we're sweet. Six, all right. Uh, so I'm gonna go. Take the room. One. And I'm gonna go one, two. I'm just getting behind. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. And then one. And just stand there. All right, here we go. You ready for it? That's it. Final room. Last one. This better be it. Boom. Oh, oh the it's idle the chamber. chamber. Fantastic. So it's the big long idle chamber piece. I like how we finally made it through after all these corridors. And there's automatically ten Skaven in it. There's going to be one automatically here. We know on he's, the next one. He's the, the, he's the evil one. The sorcerer. We're going to use this um, awesome uh, uh, old uh, what should we call it? Mordheim Rat Ogre right. as the creature it turns into, the demon that possesses him, if we can. Uh, and then there's going to be a lot more Skaven after we enter the room. So it's up to you, Power Phase. What do we oh. got? <laughs> Don't get us ambushed. It's going to happen. You know it. Oh, oh so two. Close. All right. Two's so not good. Ward answer so goes Ward in. Ward answer is going to move in. Figure out where you want to fight. One. Because they're all going to appear two. after this. Yep. And we, got it. We, have, we have D6 turns to kill all he, these guys. He's going to go one, two. It's normal hiding in the corner with all his bravery. He's so mighty and brave. Okay. And then your guys. All right. Well, let's do it. We're going to go one, two, three, four. Uh, yeah. And then we're going to go one, two, three, Four, just be in the middle of it all. all right. Eleven Skaven, four dudes. So that means that everybody, some one person's not gonna get three. So flip and see who's not getting three. <laughs> who's not getting three? It is me, Elf Ranger. All right, so you get two, my and everybody Mary, else my, gets my Mary Sue here. According to everybody else, so one, two, and then one, two, three on the word answer if possible. So one in behind, one, two, three on the Troll Slayer, and one, two, three on the Noble. Sweet. All right, so now roll me a d6 and see how many turns we have, including this one. Oh, we have d6? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we got That's one it. turn. So he just immediately is going to turn into the thing. Sweet. Well, it's all a good right. thing you brought Troll Slayer, right? All right. <laughs> okay, so what do we do now? I'm sure this will all go fine. So it's our it's our warrior phase. Roll for power. Oh. See what happens. Come on. Give it to me. Give it to me. Two. Two power. All right, what does my belt do? Come on, belt. Wake up. Yes. So I ignore can a hit. Ignore a hit. She's going to start. You have four movement. So put four uh, next to him, because you can keep doing this death, but you can potentially kill every scaven in this room. Yeah, it's going to happen right now. Do it. Ready for it? So starting with so the I'm one... start with this one. Well, because you don't have to use, you don't oh, yeah, have to use your death blow yep. until you go all the way around, right? So start so with that start one. here. Boom. Hits. Hits. Uh, that's a five. Five. And he's got three wounds, so he's, he's still alive. Mm -hmm. His five minus three is two. And that's ending the word answer's turn, so on to your ranger. So you should have one one left. Mm -hmm. I like to do it, though, because of our Cast some shockwave. Cool. Shockwave! Oh, Hits. goes off. So I want a three plus on the Skaven right in front yeah. of me. Yep. He's just dead. He's so only got no, one no, wound. He takes, uh, he takes D6 plus he's, one wound. He's already dead. He's only got one wound. Okay. The next the, one. The next three plus. One, three plus. Yes. D6 plus one. D6 plus one. Two plus to kill him. Does. Yep. The next one right here. Shockwave. Hits. D6 plus one. Oh. So, uh, it's, so it's two wounds. Two. So he's got one but wound. It's, yeah, but it's minus for toughness. So. Yeah. So, oh, it's minus for toughness. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was just wounds. One left, and... No, but he's, yeah. Actually, don't, he takes no wounds, because one plus one is two. Yes. He takes so zero. Yep. And then you're and then still my, able to I move and attack. still move and attack. Yep. So I'm actually going to go one, two, and attack this Skaven. You're not going to go for a death blow? 
Cool. Oh, I guess I'll go in here. Well, if you go into here, you can kill three. Oh, potentially. I see. Yeah, but you know he's not gonna. I All mean, right. sure. Well, you know he is young and he is uh, full well, of. You know vigor? what? I can use my. Uh, Take extra warrior phase or freeze time or something. <laughs> I can do all kinds of stuff. Look sure can. Oh. Sure can. Um, I am actually going to use the. We'll see if you kill anybody first. Yeah, so I'll use the lucky the talisman to just hit this guy. Sure. D6 plus three. Yep. So it hits automatically and kills him. Eight. Eight minus three is dead. five. Death blow. And the then I'll death blow into the next one. Three plus hits. hits. Minus three kills him. Kills him. Next one. Three plus, hits. Hits. Three plus to kill, kills him. Kills it. And that's it for your death blow, because you've gone all the way around. Yep. Crown, go yeah, again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the uh, the time freeze. Uh, you know what, I'm not gonna use the time freeze. I'd use that to try and kill the Minotaur. Because that's coming out, yeah. That is coming out, so. yeah. <laughs> Actually, sorry, that should have come out right now. You guys are already here because it was the first turn that we entered, it, it counts as one of the turns. We, we, we showed up late because we were walking through all these corridors. Correct. Uh, so if you want to go in, you can, or you can wait a second. He's kind of bottlenecked right now. Yeah, so. I'm gonna. He's not going anywhere at this point, so I'm just gonna hang back. Sweet, sweet. Well, then but we'll I go have to with use my lucky talisman. First. We'll we'll go with the uh, noble, and he's gonna try and stab this one that's attacking him on a three plus. Let's we'll go four. He hits uh, D six plus one. So two doesn't do any damage. Gets to attack again. Three plus. He misses. Slayer, let's try and death blow. Do some dwarf circle. work. So on a three, hits. Oh. Uh, kills, 9 minus 3 is 6. The next one, a 3. No, he misses. Oh. And it did make a small <laughs> hole for that guy to step through. Uh, so we'll start with the Skaven. Because mm -hmm. they're so in contact. He is, uh, Which are the ones in contact. So the yeah. two that are attacking my Noble, if I you want to do that one. Sure. So on your Noble here. Hits. We'll D6 hit. plus 3. D6 plus 3? Yeah, strength 3. Oh, Skaven, you're the worst. 9. Oh, takes sorry. 6 damage. Goes down to 6 left. <laughs> uh, 4 bluffs. Misses. misses. Uh, the two attacking the troll slayer. First, First one. First one. Hits. Hits. D6 plus three. Nine minus four is five. He's down to nine. The next one. Four plus. Hits. No! D6 plus three. Stop killing these guys. Oh. Nine minus four is five. So he's got four wounds left. Uh, and then this one will step, step forward because he was on yeah. the war dancer. On a four plus. And you would have ignored it anyway. I would have ignored it. Well, I'm, I'll, I'll wait on the ignore. <laughs> That's fair. Well, we have to see who the troll, who the thing's going after. So shovel these up. And I'll, I'm gonna hide him from you and you okay. pick one. I'm gonna hide him from you and you pick one. Okay, don't look, don't look, don't look. I'm not looking. Do it. It's the noble. noble. Can he get to Yeah, he can go one, two, three. Yeah, but he's pinned. So he's, he's gonna go one, two, and then attack the troll here? slayer. Here? Yeah. Oh, so he just goes straight to the troll slayer? Should do. And then four's to hit. Mm. Well, let's go four. I think he's got two attacks, because he's a minotaur. Three attacks and 20 wounds. So three attacks, three dice. Hit on fours. So you're, you're all at the same time. One miss. One hit, or one hit, well, actually two miss, three miss. He just misses completely. Because let's go full slayer lives. I only got two power. I'm not going to use it yet. Well, that's the end of the monster phase. Yeah, so no, I'm just it's, it's a new phase now, right? New phase, roll the power and see what it is. Here we go. Oh, you can try and heal on a five boss. Heal everybody. Uh, oh, you use, no, use shock cast a spell. You use shock That's yeah. right, yeah. What happens? Three. Three. It's not terrible. And War Dancer gets to go first. Yes, he does. What's his belt say? Uh, his belt says plus two toughness. Gave him a hit. Three. Hits! Plus three, eight kills it. Kills the Skaven! So then he's gotta make... Step down to three. So now you can, like, the problem is you're gonna get pinned here. You could go one, two, three. I think he, yeah, he escapes pinning on a, on a... I escape pinning on a three. So, so I can go So one here. for free, two, two, and then you have it on a three plus. Ten. You're good. Yes. And then three. I don't, oh yeah. He's gonna move again. Yeah. Yep. Yep. You're good. So you got you've used three movement, you've got one, one left. left. Yep. And you can try and stab that guy on a three plus. Yeah, stab that Skaven. On a three. Miss no. the guy. And then it's All right. your Elf Ranger. I really could use some healing, but I can also chug some stone bread. But everybody's pretty beat up. I got six wins left yeah. on the level and four left on the dude. Both See, my guys are fine. I would save your spell because <laughs> you can use it out of turn. And if we get down, you can. I can also use my time freeze ring to take a bonus turn. It, well, the thing but is, I that you don't get to cast more than one spell, so because you can cast a spell at any time because it's a healing it's, spell. It, yeah, but this is a whole second warrior phase. Yes, but warrior phase doesn't doesn't care about number of times you can cast a spell. Oh, doesn't it? No, it's just how many times you can move. No, because I cast in the warrior phase. 
Yeah, no, only your attack spells att go in the warrior phase. Your healing spell can be any time. Oh, healing. Which is why spell. you That's wait for us to get knocked down and then get us back to one wound so we don't die. Okay. <laughs> but Sounds you can still good, do your move. Good strategy. You can still do your move and attack and go kill the kill the monster if you want. And you can still double warrior phase too if you want. Oh, here we go. Boom. Get ready to eat magic elf steel. What's his weapon skill? Uh, four. So I'm four plus. So four is. Missed. Nope. Warrior phase. Yeah, you know what? I'll double time fall time freeze and I'll take a second warrior phase. So I'm just going to attack again. Sweet. Here it comes. I'm going to hit you this time. Oh, yeah. D6 plus three minus four times four. No. Nothing. Well, we don't all die, but if we get knocked down, it's okay because we'll just come come back with your <laughs> four plus. You just have to do four plus skills all back in life. Mm -hmm. All right, Esteban, I want you to stab this Skaven and kill him. Because I want to save the Troll Slayer. This one? Oh, yeah. Uh, so I need some dice. You have all the dice somewhere. <laughs> Found them. They're underneath this. All right, so four plus on the first, or sorry, three plus on the first Skaven. No! This is, we'll talk. So we're going to try and kill these two Skaven first. Mm -hmm. On a three. First one. Hits. Hits. Splat. Kills. Second one. Death blow. I, no, he's going to start with this one because he has oh, to go in a circle. Right, right. He misses. But I'm going to luck it. Luck it. I hit. And then death blow. Or sorry, how much damage? I kill it. And then onto the uh, big boy. Get. If I get a six, I'm strength seven. Do it! Nope, but I hit him. Plus four, eight, minus four is four damage. He's got 16 left. All right, it's him all done. And he's gonna eat some stone bread in combat. And get five back. So he's gonna nice. go from four to nine. Uh, no, it's monster time. Oh, it's monster time. <laughs> so no, two, no, no, let's just get monster two, time. Two, two, two attacking my noble. So the first so the one. first one hits. Oh, sorry, D6 man. D6 plus three, four. Oh, takes four. one damage, goes down to five. And the other one. Other one on four. Misses. misses. Yeah, the big so guy. So now it's who does he attack? He can't reach the noble, so let's see which of the other three guys he attacks. He's in basically all of them. He's going to attack this one. Oh, war, war answer. answer. What's your belt doing this turn? Oh, yeah, good question. Uh, oh, I, I, did I already roll it this turn? Pretty sure. I don't remember. Hang on. He's five right now, which is sweet. Um, and then you get three attacks against you, so 3d6. Hitting on weapons go five, weapons so go fours. Five, the fours. One, One hit. And then your toughness five, his strength I believe is 2d6 plus four, because he rolls 2d6 <laughs> and has it together. Yeah, they're, they're dangerous. Minus five. Plus oh. four, seven, minus five is two damage. Not too oh. bad for these awful dice of yours. Yes, they're, right. they're gorgeous. <laughs> Power phase, new turn. All right, here we go. Not a one, not a one, not a one, not a one. Two, ah, oh. no, so two plus casting now. And there you go with the word Or do you want me to heal? What does your belt do? First of all, your word answer goes Oh, first. my word answer is belt. Come on. Oh, still plus two toughness. Okay. Nice. And then you start stabbing. Uh, yep. So here we go. Uh, he's weapon skill four. Mm -hmm. So on a three. Ooh, word answer. There's everything on Hits. threes. Uh, four, seven minus seven. four is three damage. So he three goes damage. from 16 to 13. There's no killing blow or anything. Right? You, don't, you don't have to kill him one hit to get it. Uh -huh. So that's it. Gonna go. Yep. I am... Uh, how how much how wounded are you guys? I have nine. I can give you literally like that one wound. Yeah, uh, I just saved the spell in case we die. I think I might just sort of an area, which is just d6 wounds. Sure, straight up d6 wounds for so thirteen. Up. Uh, but I need I need a uh, yep two plus to cast. Two plus to cast. Two plus to cast. Yep, and you just take d6, d6 wounds. wounds. Sort of an area. Take two wounds. Ugh. Down to eleven. All right, oh, three plus or four plus. Sorry, let's go four. Misses. It's Noble O'Clock, and he's going to start trying to kill some Skaven. Uh, so Skaven, first one on a three, by the Troll Slayer, hits. Uh, D6 plus one. Two, doesn't do any damage, attacks again. Misses. It's the Troll Slayer. I it's always, just, it always comes down to the Troll Slayer. Just give me that six and murder this guy. Yep, just do it. Hit him. Four plus. Nope. No. Misses. <laughs> My luck, I'm going to eat another piece of stone bread, though. And get one wound back, go to ten. Oh, uh, particularly was, gritty piece of stone bread. Not a good piece of stone bread. Uh, so Skaven first, hit me, uh, hit me baby one more time. And you've cast your spell for the turn, so... Yep. so he's gonna... He's I gonna might die. So, here... Oh. Four plus. No! This yes, is the other one. one. Oh. Hits, d6 plus three. Seven minus three is four, I've got one left. Oh. Feeling great. <laughs> and then three, three more attacks on my ward answer. Okay. Uh, no, you, you drive around. It's mm -hmm. randomized. He can't go to his target because he's pinned, so he's gonna randomize every round. Somebody, oh, it's somebody that isn't the noble because that's his target. This guy. Oh, the word answer. Again, he the word answer. He does not like the word answer. Three attacks on fours. Two. Two hits. First one, 2d6 plus four. Ugh. Minus five. He takes nine minus five is four. Oof, so he's down to three. And then the second hit, 
No! Roll low! Minus five! No. Eight plus four is 12 minus five. He's down to zero. So you're at zero. Went down. So until yeah. the next, we have until the next turn to heal him. Otherwise, he is kaput mm. and dead. Uh, so, new turn. New Old turn. Tarfes. Oh, come on. Do it, do it, do it. Not something terrible. Oh! Have again? Not Ready? just down. You can't do anything. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna heal. Two plus. Two plus. Everyone's gonna get back a wound. No! Uh, uh, that's problematic because I can't heal you with any of my stuff. <laughs> He's gonna die. Uh, so Ziggy, Ziggy, Ziggy played guitar, but was no more. So you still attack though. So you kill this big guy. And hit. Uh, no, I miss. Oh, you don't want to go four. That's right. Yeah, let's go four. Not the word answer. So you miss. Nope. Now you could use your crown and go again. <sighs> no, it, it allows me to. Oh yeah, it does. Oh yeah, you know what? Whatever. We'll use the war crown. Because it's the same thing, doesn't it? Yep, it's the exact same thing. So, so here you go, war crown. Plus. You hit him. Hit him. Plus three, eight. It's four more damage. He's down to seven. All right. Need the noble to come through here. Noble, kill that scaven. And then the troll slayer's got to finish off. Three plus. Hits. DC plus one. Two. Nothing. Next one. Hits. DC plus one. Three. No damage. Next one. Hits. Yep. DC plus one. Six kills him. And then the one behind the troll slayer. Hits. DC plus one. Three. Doesn't do any damage. Next one. Hits. DC plus one. So Does no damage. So stabby. Hits. DC was one. No <laughs> damage. Third one hits. Yeah. DC was one. I forget a five or better. No damage. <laughs> Again. Hits. DC was one. No damage. Oh my god. He's just stabbing him. No. He finally misses. Uh, and then it's the cuts. troll slayer. He's gonna chew another piece of stone bread yeah. to try and stay alive. And get back one, goes oh, to 11. You got some All right, we use our luck. Let's see if I can hit this guy. Oh, hang on, I'm gonna use my Talent of Death. Yes! Uh, it does D6 wins against every monster adjacent with no modifiers for toughness. Nice, kill that Skaven. Uh, roll for each one separately. The Skaven on a three. Dead! Does five, and then the uh, other guy does three, so he's down to four. Oh, four six. plus, roll come on. Six. Give me that six, we strength seven. Here we go. Six and I kill. Five, oh. and then I'm D6 plus four, so on a four plus he's dead. Come Bam. on! Dead. Yes! Troll Slayer slays the demonic dude. He started as dies because your turn ends and we didn't heal him. Because uh, you didn't get your spell off. You're no, yeah, well, you know, this shit happens. This just bleeds to, <laughs> bleeds to death. Um, so then the pillar of fire erupts. We all climb up the hole. Uh, we get to go back to our settlement. Ziggy's dead. Uh, and we're on to and we his need friend. A treasure card, don't and we? his friend Twiggy will show up. No, we don't get a treasure card for this because it's not an event. We get D6 times 150 gold each. Oh. We get, plus, we get the, the for what the scave and the Minotaur we killed. All oh, right. So I killed the Minotaur, and I killed one scaven, three scaven with no. Two. It was it was there. I had them separated out. Who who was he? Yeah, two and two. That's he, right. He yeah. did kill this one. That's right. Yep. Yeah. So two and two, and then I've already got one over here. So it's gonna be. Yeah. Like that. Yep. Uh, so they're 40 each, so 80. So I go to 340. 440 plus 120 is 560. Uh, plus 470 is going to be 1,030. Uh -oh. Six times 150 for did the Prince, Ranger. How, what did Prince Lorand learn today? Ooh. Ooh, so 500 plus uh, 250, 750 gold. 60 total for Prince Lorand. He can also sell his uh, stuff later on as well. Uh, for the man, the legend, Esteban Galante. He's gonna get three, so that's 450, so he goes to 890. For Bory Goldfist, he learned 450 as well, so he's gonna go to 1580. He died as his tradition. It's okay, he'll be replaced by the Thin White Duke. By the Thin White Duke. Who's a far, far darker character. <laughs> Fair enough. And now we gotta return home. I'm gonna have to sell my Talent of Death to get to 2000 to level, but. What? No, that thing it, is so good! It, it, yeah, but I might find it again. Uh, I know you want to. I'd rather get to battle level two. We're gonna go to a town because I want to level. And that means we gotta make four hazard rolls. So get two different colored dice, and let's see what our hazard table says. Aye, right, because my dice are. Sure, terrible. sounds good. 25. Uh, first event is a prisoner. As the warriors approach the crest of a hill, the hero noise of armed men approaching. Taking cover, they watch the band of swarthy mercenaries troop by, dragging a wealthy looking man behind them. They can fight the mercenaries and free the prisoner, or let them pass unhindered. If the warriors attack the mercenaries, roll d6 to see what happens. We get gold if we, if we kill them. So oh, I say we attack. I mean, let's do it. We're, we're all noble see and what good, happens. right? See what happens. We I'm attack not, them immediately. Jerk Roll off. me a d6. Big money. Get six. The warriors best the mercenaries in a fierce fight and free the prisoner. He cannot travel very fast. If the warriors take him with them, he adds a week to the journey. 
but they each get a hundred gold for rescuing him. Nice. Four Extra more. Now. Extra week. Oh, 61. 61. 61 has probably got to be something. Uh, it's, 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 it's totally something. random. It's not like there's no number or something good. that's good or bad. Militia. Militia. The warriors see smoke curling above the trees, and within a few minutes, they crest the hill evoking a small settlement. As they get closer, a group of armed men on horseback approach. But at the town militia, and they're very wary of strangers, they refuse to let the warriors stay at the settlement. But for payment of 30 gold each, they'll allow them to pass through it. If they refuse to pay, they must go around the village and add a week. Just want to add a week? Yeah, sure. I'm, not, I'm, I'm keeping my gold. Sweet. Roll again. I wouldn't pay some... Peasants. <laughs> peasants. Six. It happens again. How many towns are there? They just keep going around. They just keep hitting towns that don't like us. Uh, 23. 23. 23 is going to be a plague. The warriors arrive at a large town in the grip of a plague. This and is why the militia's roads. everywhere. I know. The bar and one of the wizard warriors under it is blocked. The warriors' journey is over. And they must now either go straight on to the next adventure or uh, stop and spend time in the town. If we stop, uh, each time you make a... A uh, roll, see what happens. Uh, your minus one strength. If they stay, use the normal rules to determine what they do. But each time they make a roll on any table, roll a d6 and make uh, on the following table. On a one, your minus one strength. On a two, your minus one toughness. On a three plus, you're fine. Plague Town! And we have to stay or we just go directly to the next dungeon. That's why like, the armed guards were like turning us yeah, away, like, basically. Go back, go back. Yeah. And we're like, no, no we don't we're... listen to you. <laughs> you're oh, humans. everyone's dying. Humans don't tell us what to do. Everyone's got zits. <laughs> All right. So let's see what we're doing in the settlement. Right, how long you're, oh no, you're, never mind, your your board answer is dead, he doesn't have to worry about that. No, he doesn't have to worry about that. So the first thing we do when they arrive is nominate one of our players to keep track of how long we stay. The length of the warrior stay determines how much they can achieve and how much they have to spend to survive. Each day the warriors spend a settlement, each warrior must do all of the following. Each warrior can undertake a settlement activity, uh, which is visit a trader and attempt to buy and sell an item, visit one or more special locations, and then generate a settlement event, and then pay living expenses. So full details for that later on. So we are in a... Uh, and then the alehouse. This thing is my gold will cap at three grand, but I don't actually spend my gold. I spend my, my experience gold to get stuff. So I'm gonna sell my town of death to go up to 2180 for, for gold, uh, which is under my 3000 limit. And then I'm gonna go to the troll slayer shrine and it's gonna be D6 days to train as the demon slayer hanging out there becomes impressed with me. So I'm gonna leave myself with 180 experience gold left, but still 1680 gold for, the, for my spending money, because the Demon Slayer is not interested in that. I can, however, make donations to the Slayer Shrine. Um, all I change right now is I'm gonna get D6 extra wounds, rerolling ones, and I'm gonna, like once, and an extra attack. Skills, my willpower doesn't go up, my pinning stays the same. All right, so let's see what my, uh, my extra wounds are. I went to two attacks, I get three extra wounds, so I get a 17 wounds, and then how many days am I training for? Just two, so we're a minimum of two days here. Donation to the Slayer Shrine as well, and see if I, Get something good. So 50 gold gets handed over. And this is for my real gold. So I'm gonna go to 1630. And let's see what happens when I get uh, when I get donating. I roll six. The troll slayers are very impressed and usher the troll slayer into the inner chamber of the shrine where only the most exalted slayers are allowed to access. Make two dice rolls on the inner chamber table and see what happens to them. Kill a lot of stuff last game. So the first roll, three, and then I roll again. The runesmith is in the shrine on troll slayer business and agrees to inscribe a rune on my ax. Roll a die and see what happens. Two. We're gonna strength, plus one strength to the troll slayer for the next adventure, and then it fades. Again, I get a three and roll again. And six, the rune of rage. Once the next adventure, the rune may ignore any rules for initiative and pinning and may move into combat with the biggest monster in the room with a move rate up to twice the normal move, and then uh, the rune fades. Sorry, that's actually permanent. Because my second roll is actually to roll dice to see if the rune is permanent. So my rune of strength is permanent, and then I roll again to see what I get. As soon as you roll to see what rune you've got, roll die, and at six, the rune becomes permanent. So, roll again for my second rune, or my second thing. So again, it's potentially another rune smith. I get the three rune of toughness, plus one toughness for the next adventure, but on a six, it's permanent. No, so I have plus one strength forever, and then next game is plus one toughness. I'm gonna roll on the table to see if I get the plague. So I've rolled on this table twice. So the first one, six, I'm fine. That was this table, and then two rolls on this table. I'm fine, and... I'm fine, so no plague for me yet. So that's the Troll Slayer done. We're here for at least two days, so if you want to go on to your ranger, we'll just take turns. Sure. Where do, you want to, where do you want to go? So you can go to see any of the general stores, you can go to your special location. I guess uh, I'll go to my special location, which is the Elf Quarter. I have cool. to roll to see if I can even find it. Okay. So I need a seven plus to find the Elf Quarter. Because you're in a village. Yeah. Okay. So you I right. find an Elf Quarter. Sweet. Now this is where I would normally go to train, mm -hmm. to go up levels. Uh, but I'm not there yet. But you can so dump money to the shrine. There's other stuff to. I can do here. So the first thing I have to do is I have to try and resist spending money on expensive stuff. Because you're so, so I, have to, I have to not roll a one on a two plus. I don't see anything I like. 
Otherwise, I might try Have to buy, to buy something. something yep. uh, three, so I don't see anything I like. Uh, I can get some news and stories, so let's see what the news and stories are. Two. Two! The ranger makes a useful contact with a friend he has not seen for many years. When next training, the friend will lend what assistance he can. The elf may add plus one to his next dice roll to see who his trainer is. That's useful. Uh, and then the Lord of the Noble House, I can go visit him. And I'm a mage, so I roll on the mage table to go okay. and visit him. Uh, let's see, do I have to give him any gold? You just go for a visit? Myself! There I am! And five. I rolled a five! The Lord gives the ranger a small gem, which he claims is a potent source of magic. Once during the next adventure, the ranger may cast a spell with his of his choice automatically, no matter what power, the oh, power roll. That's so handy for that will healing. Be useful. Yeah, you, and that's, that's super sweet. That's really all I can do at the Noble House. That's your first day. That's my first day. All right, so you have to roll for unexpected events. I have to roll. Don't I have to roll for plague? Uh, uh, you rolled on two tables. Yes. So the first one. Oh yeah. Three for plus. Every table I work. Yep. Yeah. You're fine. Second one, three plus. <laughs> no, so you're minus one strength for the next adventure. Uh, it was day one, so we're on to day two. Oh, sorry, unexpected event. And I caught the funk. You caught the funk, so now it's the unexpected event. Let's see what you get. D66. This is D66. 35. 35. Warrior is challenged to a duel by a professional duelist who is insulted in, whom you insulted in a tavern. It's scheduled to take place at dawn tomorrow. You can either leave town immediately or take up a challenge. Well, I guess I gotta, I gotta take it up, right? Uh, so I roll d6 on the following table. With a single will, so basically, on a one you die, on a two, yes. two to four you duel for a bunch of hours, um, and you get a fine supper, and the best one in the best uh, hotel. That's a draw, and a five six you win for two d six times fifty. So, gold. so clearly I offended someone at the noble house. So don't roll a one. Here we go. Here comes the one. You ready for it? Bring, bring in the noise. Bring in the funk. Five. five. You get d six two d six times fifty gold and a single item of treasure from the treasure deck. Oh. His body. You kill him. So seven. That's three hundred fifty gold, <laughs> and immediately a treasure item is. The Death, Death Stone. Stone! So it's worth 150 gold. Uh, it's a small black crystal that sucks up the light. The Death Stone acts as a source of power for the wizard. When casting a spell, you can increase your chance of success on a d6 on a 3 to 6. Uh, cast a zero power instead of normal cost. On a 1 or 2, it's lost. Once That's per adventure. Useless. I have to go sell it. I'm going to go sell it. Uh, That's right. 50 gold for you, basically. Yep. So you but get 500 gold. to sell it, right? No, you just get 500 gold. You can sell treasure items at any time. I get, yeah. So, so you get 500 gold, basically. Yeah. Two, do you want to go buy some provisions or some bandages or? <laughs> I think you need something to heal yourself with for sure. That isn't a spell because that'll keep you alive to keep us alive. You have the elf cloaks available to buy in the I elf cloak. Buy the elf cloak. You got it. it sure is. Costs you 100 gold, and it's minus one damage basically. But every time it absorbs damage, roll a die on a one, it's ruined. Oh, is during that same visit you already rolled the event yes. for? So yep. we're we're here for day one. What's your day two? Uh, can I just hide because I've already got the the vittles at this point? Sure. Just gonna go to the general store. You can get yeah. D6 bandages for 50 each. You get D6 provisions. Bandages, like, basically are provisions that don't expire, but they're more right. expensive. And then D6 provisions, which are two wounds, but at the end of every adventure you discard them. I, do I have to buy all D6 of them? You do. You buy, you buy what's offered, yeah. Oh, okay. So... Six, six are offered. And that'll be 300. Ooh. Sorry, I think that's the maximum you can buy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh... For 150, he's got three bandages. Yep. Also got rope and door spikes. What else? I'm gonna buy fine robes or boots or trance stones. No, I think I'll just save my gold and uh, hopefully I don't get double vittles here. All right, let's see what you got for your event. Uh, wait, did, event? did I roll on a chart for that? You roll for your settlement event. You did roll. No, you don't. When you're buying stuff, you're not rolling on a chart. You're rolling on a chart when you roll for your settlement. Oh, event. So this is my settlement event. Yeah. Twelve. Pickpocket, your warrior rushes through the busy streets, your money pouch is stolen for D6 times 20 gold. You lose 60 gold. Sorry, uh, uh, 80 gold. I wanted to buy some stone bread. Well, and then I do I have to roll for the vittles again? For the vittles? The, for the plague. the plague. You do, yes. On three yeah. plus. You're okay. So again, on the plague, do I double up my plague? No. Nope. I've read, I wanted to buy some stone bread. How much is available? D6. Uh, three, and they are 30 each, so 90. Make sure you don't get the stale stuff. Worst. And it's sorry, it's a two plus, so it's automatically in stock. Well, Bori's done. He didn't have to roll for any events because he was um, training, so we're back over to Esteban now. He's a 2000 level. He's going to sell his darting steel daggers, though, because they're kind of trash. Uh, <laughs> and that'll take him to 1340. To the general store to see if he can find some bandages. He does not. Roll an event. Uh, small die will be the, the top die for 15. Investment! 
And one of the Worf sidebars, you're worried meets a young entrepreneur with great ideas for establishing a trading empire. He talks your warrior into investing D6 times 50 gold and gives me a certificate of partnership. From now on, at the end of each dungeon, whenever your warrior reaches civilization, he may visit the local merchant's guild and see what's going on in my partnership and roll a die on the following table. On a one, the company's been gone bust and my investment's worth nothing. In addition, I have to pay the merchants D6 times 50 gold for my outstanding debts. On a two to five, the warrior's investment's performing pretty well. I get D6 times 10 gold and on a six, business is booming. I invest, I invest 100 gold. Sick from that dude? I don't. Second day, we're gonna go back to the general store and try and buy some managers. On a seven, do we find any? We do. How many are available? One for 50. Plague? Ha, ah, minus one toughness. My event, yellow dial will be high, 26. Due to a mistake of identity, your warrior finds himself surrounded by a gang of angry young men who insist that he's betrothed to their sister. Your warrior agrees I'll bite at knife point and it pledges truth to a farmer's daughter of her of ample charms. Uh, so your warrior must enter the settle or leave the settlement of Lady or get married. I leave. That was day two, thank goodness, and I gotta leave tomorrow, so no more hanging out for us. Uh, we gotta pay four gold each for our, or sorry, I gotta pay four gold for not the Troll Slayer. And I can't remember if I actually rolled to see if uh, I could enter the, the Slayer thing. Plus, because we're in a village, we're fine. And that's it! We're off to see the Thin Young Duke and go to our next adventure. So there we go, kicking off the adventures of Esteban, Skeggy, and uh, the young Prince Loran. Not Skeggy, actually, Bori this time, Goldfist. And we did pretty good. We managed to get to battle level two with the Troll Slayer. He had an amazing game um, and adventure and basically like punched his way through everything. So literally we, we lost Ziggy Stardust, but his brother, the thin young, was it the thin, the thin white duke will appear, whatever, whatever Bowie reference we're throwing around now for the next adventure as um, I guess he seeks his revenge. So we'll see you for that in two weeks. Big thanks for watching. Uh, until then, we'll see you for more Warhammer Quest. I'm Ash, have fun gaming. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below so you get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirts, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Death Ray Designs, um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible, uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else, and most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Um, uh, big thanks to everyone past, future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.